Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization 5 Denmark. At the end of the previous episode I said that I had a lot to think about, but with your help guys I uh, made some decisions, so let's start first with uh, William. I've actually decided to leave him in the game with one city, one city that's very easy to flip, uh, we have uh, a profit on the map, so I'll send the profit south. And what I'm hoping to achieve here, uh, when I flip Utrecht, as the only city William has, of course, uh, and it's not the holy city, of course, our religion will become his main religion. So Utrecht should start spamming missionaries that are following our religion. And with that, William should help us spread our own religion. So instead of that, uh, of that spam of Protestant uh, missionaries, he should be spamming uh, religion of, uh, I mean religion, uh, missionaries of our religion. So this could save us uh, some faith. And also this will save us some time so that I can start healing my units immediately and uh, we move to Shaka because that's the next goal. Vassalize Shaka so that we don't have to think about him. Uh, he is quite a few tags behind but um, even when Shaka is fighting from behind uh, he has uh, like so many... Uh, militaristic bonuses that feels like you are fighting him on an equal term when you have his units one tech level level behind you it basically feels like fighting on equal term uh, and uh, if I give him too much time at one point in the Renaissance era you get uh, units that tend to then take quite a while to upgrade so it could happen that at some point we would have to fight Shaka like on equal terms on with units that are on the same level. And that's something I definitely want to avoid. Also by taking Shaka, I'll secure my southern border. That probably is no one there, but I don't know, just in case. Um, it will give us another another vassal, so uh, basically secures another side of the map. And solves a problem with annoying neighbor. So that's another thing. And uh, while we are doing this, we will keep an eye on uh, Russia and uh, Russia and Spain because they'll probably be the target after after Shaka. I don't want to remove uh, Persia, Mongolia, and France. Although I'll probably declare on France just to take these two cities and make some extra money again. I want to use them like as a buffer against uh, Indonesia because Indonesia is doing quite well, and I don't want to have direct border with them. Uh, so that's that. Now, about the great person that we'll hopefully get in three turns. I couldn't decide, but then there was an excellent suggestion that I could get another great profit, which is exactly what I want to do. Uh, that gives us exactly the amount, or that covers the exactly the amount of cities that we still have to flip. So we have four cities here, and then we have one, two, three, and one of the city-states, four, and... Uh, Basically everything that we need to flip will be flipped, plus then we have in 26 turns uh, another profit that will help us with Shaka. Shaka should have 8 cities, which means if I take like 4 cities, including his capital of course, uh, that should be enough to vassalize the rest. So uh, we will use this profit to flip those conquered cities. So that's uh, like uh, perfectly lined up. But enough talking, let's uh, start playing. So this prophet has to go south. Uh, start moving, it's four turns. There is, what, there is one missionary. Problem is, I won't be able to, actually, I, if I wait one turn, I might be able to get rid of one more missionary of this one. That's probably worth it. Mm, is there a risk that you lose a unit somewhere? I don't think so. so let's... End the turn. Uh, yeah, give me a logging camp. Actually, really? So when it's in the jungle, it's a logging camp. And when it's in the forest, it's a lumber mill. Okay, thought it was the same thing. Um, who needs orders? Oh, here we need orders. Yeah, we all have to keep like a line of caravels in the middle of this ocean to make sure we don't miss an invasion force 
But I don't think that Russia and Spain really want to fight us at this point. It's better uh, be safe than sorry, of course. Shaka wants peace. I think I'll refuse here. No, buddy. I don't think we'll end this war until you are my vassal. Uh, what are we doing here? Whoops. This could change my plans. Are you kidding me? So, this is important. Take out the worker, because why not? Oh, this is surprising, to say the least. Before, I have to move out of range. And I think I want to move as far as possible into my territory and prepare a nice surprise for those caravels. They'll run into my newly promoted frigates and corvettes, or newly upgraded. Okay, what are you looking at here? That's quite a few options, but I think we want to go for Blitz and then City Assault. What is this? Um, there are so many nice promotions now. I think Blitz is the way to go right now. Uh, here we can get targeting. It's funny that one turn after I said that uh, Russia probably doesn't want to fight, uh, we have uh, a fleet of Spanish caravels heading to us. <clears throat> Just shows that even with all the time that I have in the game, I still still can completely misjudge misjudge the situation and intention of the AI. Kill. Got to get a kill on this caravel. Or maybe let's get rid of all the pop-ups. Information. Make sure we don't miss something important. Iron from... Uh, okay, that's fine. I don't want the iron back. We now have enough. Barbarian camp. Yeah, we'll have to take care of that because it's too close to my border. Mm, this is fine. And the city growth. This city needs some defenses. Let's get a castle. And the growth. I don't have that many options around here. Growing in 19. It's not a huge difference. Growing in 21. But I also would like to work the university. More food here. How is it possible that we are growing so slowly? I am working quite a few tiles with a lot of food. Fine, but I really want to work, work the university. But this will have to be enough, and then we probably rush grocer or something. Um, the other one... How are we doing on specialists? That's fine. Growing in 12. That's also reasonable. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting a few merchants, to be honest. Here, these cities that are focused on specialists, I should... Probably try to get some. Uh, we have national monument here, so it's maybe even more important. Look, this market. That's in 50. Because we will need money to upgrade our armies like over and over again, of course, as we are attacking up. And even with all the gold that we are getting, uh, it's still not enough. So I'll just get merchants for some extra extra cash here we should be able to one shot this thing and do we have a land unit that could take care of that barbarian anybody looking for volunteers yeah this is the only guy that doesn't have anything to do but 
Don't want to send him through all these caravels. Here we can get another kill. Make sure I don't forget about that. The frigate will go after uh, the Shaka's ship. You have to run away. He'll sit in the middle of the ocean here. Give me some vision. What? Actually. Right. Let's upgrade this one. Upgrade this one. Damn, this is a mess. We have units, so units all over the map. Just upgrade this guy. I will get a replacement in the capital. We will send him after barbarians. And then he can join the army because so we can then upgrade into Tercio. Or we all need garrison somewhere else. So we can maybe use him in Rotterdam. That will work. What are we doing here? This road is finished, so let's remove the road from this tile. Make sure that we are working the town. And... Uh, what are you looking at here? Move north. Remove this road. And start moving. Can we cross oceans? Can start moving to the coast. I get some more kills, maybe. Village another tile. To try to kill the swordsman. I probably should just start healing my units, make sure I can start uh, the attack on Shaka as early as possible. Fine. What are we looking at here? 19 per turn? And uh, 44 on top of that. Okay, there we go. Can we trade something? <clears throat> Someone wants treasure fleet and world religion. Be interesting. I have a feeling that Catholicism may actually get through this time and I won't be able to do anything about it. Uh, well, that's not important. Let's get the embassy. Do you want Wales? You do. Now we can sell him luxuries when he is on our side. Good. Now we just have to get that profit there as soon as possible. Go. Upgrade. 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 We have what? 732. That's not much. Let's repair everything and try to reorganize because this is really a mess. For boy. Probably send one of my admirals north to help with the defense in case we have to fight Spain and Russia after all. You need healing, you need healing. Okay. Well, I may just leave the pikemen in the city and send the, uh, send the lance knight. He's a little bit stronger, so it's probably better. Do, 
did I miss anything? I hope not. Still the same turn, but it feels like I've played like three different turns in three different playthroughs. Okay, so what are those caravels gonna do? Oh, Catherine is aggressive. And why would Pokathil be plotting against me? He is on the other side of the world. It's just a warmer and getting penalty. Yeah. Okay, where is Japan? On the other side. Hopefully they will keep some of their fleets busy. You desire a trade route. Here yeah, you desire a trade route. What's the reward? A bit of food. Uh, how much influence do we need? Actually, with the trade route, we would almost surpass William here. Eight, forty-five. Uh, what are you doing here? You are done with the lumber mill, so let's move to another tile. How, the, how are we doing happiness wise? And we. Or our golden age is about to end. Okay, so the happiness will go down. It means in four turns I should check again. What does it look like here? Is there another. Sea resource somewhere that we could maybe buy? They're a cheap tile. 140. Fine. The sea tiles are so much better than that swamp. Maybe I, I should have just saved the money and locked the workshop that we get in three turns. Well, I noticed that too late. Now you are done with the grocer. Nice. What are our options? I could just get Scriven in his office for the free emissary. And send the trade route with the emissary and get the alliance, but that would last like three turns probably. What are our other options? Garden. Let's get that. Chancery. Don't really care. Have quarries? Nope. I guess having a castle is not a bad idea. Then we can queue up a bank. Mm. It's actually, this embar I mean, this embar embark already. Everyone who is healthy and weighed with our ships. 45, 45, 45, 45. Repair the mine. C. Oh, Almaty. Do I want to? It's a militaristic hostile. I don't care about hostile city states, so I could probably ask for a tribute, get some more money. Yep. Hmm. 
move that frigate back a little bit. I don't want to get ambushed by caravels. You'll move back as well. Have replacement. Okay, good. <clears throat> Slowly, the map becomes more and more organized. Uh, move, wait, and you have to keep moving. Come on, I said keep moving. Next, hopefully we don't lose the leaning tower on this turn, but we shouldn't. Because I don't think anyone else had the tech to even start working on it. Open borders, no. Probably keep an eye on this side of the map. There we go. So, that's gonna be another profit. Where is he? And we are done with the courthouse. Let's get the basics. Um, monument, then probably water mail, library, barracks, then a wall, and workshop. Okay, happen has increased to 45. Of course, it's still during Golden Age. But from 45, it probably shouldn't drop under 30 once the Golden Age ends. And what do we do? What do we want to do with these two tiles? I think I'll just get rid of the jungle and build mines here. Yeah, sure. Let's, go. Let's get more mines. Uh, now this prophet. This one covers these four cities. This one. Let's start with Alexandria and we'll cover this. What's Sidon doing? Interesting, we have the highest pressure but the lowest amount of followers. But we want to flip our cities first, so Alexandria, that's where we start. I think that's gonna be another mine here. Let's keep upgrading those caravels. How many do, many do we still need to upgrade? I guess it's like 10. 12 even. And how many galasses? Might be done actually with galasses. Yeah. This is. Well, like 7,000 still. That's a lot of money. And we haven't even started with our bear circus, so that's another like 6,000. trying to figure out where I want to have uh, my villages one here fine I can get actually there is a village here so it's probably better get the village here and here I have to get rid of, rid of this one so this is gonna be a farm <clears throat> excuse me we're gonna build a mine here we'll have to wait until we get enough money for the upgrade <clears throat> 45 45 45 
Okay, anyone else? No, not yet. Go. Try to catch that caravel. Uh, what are you looking at here? Just stay there. Seems that Spain really wants to fight. Okay, let's just stay here. See how many ships they exactly have. We have some more ships maybe that we could send. I'd like to have like five in that group. Once I get the money for upgrades, we will send these three. Next. No, no, no. Nope. I'm real afraid of the Spanish Armada. Do banking writer. Hmm. Spain. Could be a problem too. Six. And there are probably like 50 more in the fog of war. I think we may have to find around fight around our cities. One advantage we have here is our mobility, as our frigates and corvettes are faster. Great. Okay, what about the writer? How much culture can we get? 4,000? So that's, let's say, 7 turns worth of culture. What would we get from imperialism? Everyone wanted me to go imperialism, so that's what we're gonna do. And I think I should read everything that we can get here. It will probably be the first time I use imperialism on camera. Movement for naval units. Sounds good. Embarked units and great generals well for one side for naval melee and land melee units. Okay, so better mobility and better visibility. Yeah, that usually is quite important during a war. Production for military units, don't care. Minus 10 percent goal required for upgrades. I really do care about that. And it's scaling up and can go up to what? To like a 35% discount in the end? Unlocks Pentagon. I don't even know what Pentagon does. Carrion station in the city increases city defense by 3. That's interesting. Reduces unhappiness from by 3%. All naval units gain iron sides promotions. Become stronger as they take damage. Nice. And can buy admirals. Basically means can buy happiness. Because we can just pop great admirals for extra luxuries at the later stage of the game. Or... Uh, it also could mean buy a free repair bots for your fleets. That's pretty strong. And then martial law, yield penalties in puppeted cities reduced to 50%. Constables provide happiness and guarantees no longer require uh, gold maintenance. So this is pretty good and it will give us a reason to rush constabularies and puppet cities. Colonialism 10% to sum of yields. And golden age duration modifiers from global monopolies plus for some of yields and happiness from monopolies, barracks, armories, military academies for blah 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 plus three signs. Wow, that is so OB. So many buildings get that bonus. Oh, that's not just buildings, that's also tile improvements. Okay. And how is it lined up? We need these two to get exploitation and this one. We get regimental system. So what do we get here? Earn great general and great amount thirty three percent more quickly. Great general and admiral combat bonus are is increased by ten percent. It's radius by one tile. That radius increase is insane. 
Mm, farm camps, plantations gain food and production, or ocean coast and lake tiles gain science and production. What? Military units can be upgraded in territory owned by vassals and friendly city states. Oh, that's nice, but the, f the first part is crazy, especially those ocean tiles and coastal tiles. Uh, receive a large sum of gold when you conquer it. That's what we need. Populate cities and cities with courthouse gain production towards buildings. The additional damage and production per era difference between your current era and the buildings era. Okay, so basically means that the buildings that we lose as we capture a city can be rebuilt much faster. Fine, let's just get the opener. And then I'll have to decide if I want to rush regimental system or exploitation. They are both really good. Fine, why can't I flip the city? Uh, oh. um, did I miss anything? Or is it just that I don't have enough action points left? So this guy can take care of this mountain, hill, this one, one, two, three, still in range. Let's get another, um, come on, words, another, uh, fine. And move back, repair, wait. You know what? Start moving south, east, probably. I'm really nervous about that Spanish Armada there. Yeah, okay, let's move back. We'll have to heal up. Wasn't paying attention to the Tercio and of course move to close. Another mine. Repair. Oh, hello. It's safe. It should be safe. I have support. Five. And one more. Good. We should be able to buy. Oh, actually, we don't have money for a landscape. Never mind. Okay, next. That's quite a few ships. Incense. Do I have two copies? I do. How much are you willing to pay? If you give me six gold per turn, it's a deal. There. Damn, this could actually be a dead Corvette. Yeah, that was close.
I think we'll have some pretty interesting naval battles. Could upgrade this side first. Even though Shaka has more ships than I expected, Spain is a lot more threatening. Oof. Okay, and now I really could use an explanation why can't I flip the city. Hello? Perfect, something. I've broken profit. And this works. Um, Belém. Yeah, Belém's. We want to see Protestantism. Doesn't mean anything. Oh, this explains why I was able to spam so many uh, missionaries. This doesn't mean anything. Oh, there is nothing that would prevent me from. Using that profit. Um, what? Am I missing something? I really can't figure out a reason why it would be impossible. Let's queue up the bank. Lock. That logging camp. There'd be a difference. One turn on the production. And it doesn't change growth here. Okay, fine. Let's take the production. Workshop. Something we want to lock right away. And armor also adds production. Let's build that. Okay, next, I think. The problem. Fortify, fortify. What the hell? Russia? No, I don't want to peace out. Nope. This could be interesting, though. And he really wants the defensive pact. He's pretty strong, so it's unlikely that someone like Mongolia or... Persia would declare on him. When he declares on them, we don't care. Question is... Uh, does he want to fight... People like Russia? It's so risky. I think I will take it. 
hopefully he won't drag us into too many wars. Now it works. But this is not the holy city. And even if it was a holy city, I still should be able to use the profit there. Guys, what am I missing? Why can't I use the profit on Utrecht? Ordnage, and so we are down to 26 happiness. That's still reasonable. need more money so let's get those grocers here we need ketchup so workshop and here i think right first of all make sure that we lock all the specialist slots next i'll get the customs house because that has the merchant slot After customs house armory for the production, uh, grocer to make sure we are growing even with all those specialists locked, and then a bank. So here I should get the customs house. Fine. And it seems that Spain really wants to fight. The garrison. The wall. Fortify. Fortify. Damn it, Spain, what are you doing? Can we talk? And suddenly, it's not a long bowman anymore, it's a crossbowman. Uh, fine. Send French ship. One more turn. I want to see if somehow by using that profit once fixed him and i'll be able to flip Utrecht. because if i can't i'll just get rid of the get rid of william after all i can't leave him on the map with his religion oh so i should probably do something about this Can't fight this. I can't even kill those caravels. Damn, shock. I, ships are just so strong. I could kill these two, but then I would lose one of my ships. That is not worth it. I need them to get to me. The more they have to move, the more likely it is they'll just spread out and I'll be able to take them out one by one. Why is it not working?
It worked with Egypt. I'm pretty sure I don't need a single follower in the city for this. attack first with the ship and now with the crossbowman i don't want to end my turn on this tile um why only nine people i can actually use an inquisitor on memphis Means I'd be able to flip some archand. Sure. Let's do it that way. That was a nice hit. Can I get all the way there? Nope. Well, let's get ready for next turn. Uh. Fine. <clears throat> I think I'll make a cut here. So, guys. Anybody knows why the profit doesn't work, please let me know. Because I'm confused right now. I'm probably missing something basic. But I sure am confused as hell why I can't use the profit on Utrecht. I, I don't think that William has. Maybe we can check that just to make sure. Uh, William? Or it doesn't mean anything. Religious buildings? Um, I see that. Religion? Well, he doesn't have any religious buildings. He could have something from a wonder. I don't think so. What the hell? So yeah, if anybody knows why I can't flip Utrecht, please let me know. Uh, other than that, we all have to figure out how we're gonna win this war. Probably just have to wait until Russia is willing to talk. And then use that 15 turn window. Throw everything at Shaka. Destroy his fleet, and once his ships are gone, we'll just take everything he has. But it's definitely a bit more difficult than what I expected. <laughs> Spain is even trying to attack Giza. Wow, that's pretty ambitious. Oh well, this episode is over. So I hope that you liked it. I hope that you can join me for the next one again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.